an investor looking for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Kalkine Studios in Sydney. Now, Australian shares are set to extend their gains this Friday, likely boosted by a jump in resources stocks on the back of firmer commodity prices, with a strong showing on Wall Street, also likely to prop up local stocks. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.5% gain. Yesterday, the Australian share market closed 1%. 0.02 percent higher at 7,122. Looking to business news from this morning now, and Rio Tinto and First Quantum Minerals are forming a joint venture that will work to unlock the development of the La Granja Copper Project in Peru, one of the largest undeveloped copper deposits in the world. La Granja is a complex ore body located at high altitude in northern Peru that has the potential to be a large long-life operation with a published indicated and inferred mineral resource totaling 4.32 billion tons at 0.51% copper. First Quantum will acquire a 55% stake in the project for $105 million and commit to further invest up to $546 million into the JV to sell fund capital and operational costs to take the project through to a feasibility study and towards development. Moving on, North American lithium producer Sona Mining and Piedmont Lithium Inc. today announced the successful restart of commercial spodumene concentrate production at the jointly owned North American Lithium Project in Quebec. The 80 million US dollar restart of North American Lithium was completed on time and on budget and is the only major source of new spodumene production expected in North America in the next two years. Siona is targeting 226,000 metric tons per year of annual production, with first commercial shipments expected in the third quarter of this year. And CIVMEG has been awarded around $100 million worth of new contracts to carry out manufacturing, construction and maintenance activities for the resources sector. This brings its total order book to $1.2 billion as of the 30th of March. Civmix secured three new contracts for the proposed Albemarle Lithium Chemerton expansion project and has been awarded a contract to fabricate 25 carbon steel tanks for the project. A third package of work was awarded by METSO for the manufacture of eight kilns required and Civmix recently secured two packages of work for Fortescue Metals. Well, it's time for a short break now, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. And welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. The Dow Jones Industrial Average traded higher, adding 0.4%. The S&P 500 rose 0.6%. The Nasdaq Composite advanced 0.7%. Across the Atlantic, European markets closed higher. London's FTSE added 0.7%. Frankfurt rose 1.3%, while Paris closed 1.1% higher. In Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei lost 0.4%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng gained 0.6%, while China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.7% lower. Well, that's all for our ASX at Breakfast report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.